Montana's talked to, throughout the whole series about pressing the advantage because you guys have played so much. How do you counteract that? I don't, I don't understand the question, sir. Uh, Dan's talked a, a few times about the fact that you guys have played, you know, more games over a period of time. And he's saying they, he has to make that into the Penguins' advantage. What can you do to kind of... I think we're in the second round of the NHL playoffs. We had a chance to compete in the Stanley Cup. We're excited. We're energized. We traveled like they did last night. They took got on a plane. They flew here. Well, no, I'm not making the point. Yeah. I'm saying he's making the point. <laughs> I, I don't see what the point is. I mean, we're, we're good to go. After Game 7 of the last series, you talked about how the crowd was a real positive force. What are you looking for them here tonight? Well, I, you know, I'm expecting this to be you know, a great atmosphere, and I expect our feeder, our players to feed off that. I mean, the, obviously we need uh, this to be, uh, you know, uh, our building and a tough place to play in, and I'm sure our fans are going to support us from start to finish. One of the things you've talked about throughout the playoffs is playing whistle to whistle. Do you have to reiterate that message to your team in light of Dorsett's penalty last night? Uh, you know, uh, at the end of the day, I mean, uh, Doris put himself in that position. Uh, I'm not sure how strong of a call it was, but they made the call. Um, we have been very disciplined. We're not perfect. Uh, we're going to try and be real disciplined tonight. Aside from playing so frequently, you've been studying a lot of tape. How difficult is it if you've seen something on the, pay, the, the power play that's not working to be able to imp implement it with no time to skate today? I mean, that's part of playoff hockey, and it's part of, uh, you know, you trusting your players that, you know, they'll be able to adjust, you know, the subtle little differences that uh, the other team makes. Um, we haven't proved on our power play that we can do that yet, uh, but I'm confident that we will. Uh, we've got some good players. Uh, they execute well when the, uh, the time is needed, and uh, they're going to get another opportunity to prove it tonight. Can you yeah, talk about your McDonough-Girardi pair? I had a bit of a struggle last night with that at that time. So. Is there any you can point of concern? Was there, was there any specific... I would say to you that both our deep pairs that were playing against their top line had a tough night last night.